Hey you guys, I wanted to talk to you today just a little bit about dining out assertiveness. So I don't know how many of you love to travel, but I love to travel and I love to go out on date nights with my husband and I like to try new food and new places and new adventures and new experiences. And I think I'd go as far as saying that I, although I'm a health coach, I am a foodie. I really, really love to try new foods. So this last weekend, we went away, my husband and I went away to Dallas, Texas, and it was just a quick getaway. We were gone for a couple of days. We got an Airbnb, and the Airbnb didn't have a little refrigerator um, or like a little kitchenette or anything like that. And so I knew that normally we like to be able to like go shopping, go over to Trader Joe's, get some stuff and bring it in. We weren't gonna be able to do that. So do you know what that meant? That meant that all weekend long, we were gonna have to eat out. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through um, a Saturday and share what I did for eating because I was out all day and I didn't have anything, you know, any refrigerator. So um, for breakfast, I personally love to, um, I always have my Unicity complete. It's a meal replacement, it's got 19, essential vitamins and minerals at 100% value. So I feel like I'm getting uh, my body strong. It's got a really high quality protein in it. So that's a great metabolic start for my day. And it's a no brainer because I can mix it with water and it tastes fantastic. So that's what I choose to have with me. So I take that with me whenever I go anywhere. Then lunch came and it was um, right before we decided to go rent a kayak and go paddle and get our exercise in natural activity out on the lake and so uh, we went to a hamburger joint that had some really really awesome reviews like crazy five-star reviews a whole bunch of them went there I chose a buffalo blue burger and I asked if it came with fries because if it didn't I was gonna ask I mean if it did I was gonna ask for something different but it didn't, it was all the cart, so that's all I got. I just got the, the burger, it had kind of a, a big patty on it, I knew I was gonna be fine. And when it came, it came with this beautiful buttered glossy pretzel bun on it. But I had already decided that by my choice, I was gonna choose to have it bunless. I mean, if I wanted the bun, I could choose to have the bun, but this particular time, I just wanted to try and stay healthy. I wanted to save that meal for something else, not for a burger. So anyways, when it came, I just took my buns off, I put it to the side of the plate and just thoroughly enjoyed my, um, my no sauce burger. It was just, it was great. I mean, it did have some of the blue cheese on it, but um, anyways, so that was wonderful, that was lunch. Dinner time came, we're walking in, uh, through Bishop Arts, uh, Bishop Arts District and there's all sorts of different foodie places to go to. And we walk into this one place and, and the whole thing was like desserts, pizza. And we just wanted to go in because it just looked really cool. There were smiley faces everywhere. But we decided that we wanted Mexican food. So we went to this uh, Mexican restaurant that had the most five stars reviews because we want a really good experience. And we went in there and a good experience is what we had. Now, when I open the menu, I have kind of a rule of thumb that if I've decided, so I decide before I go in, am I going, am I going to stay healthy or am I going to go off? Because once, once one meal throughout every week, sometimes two at this point, because I'm not losing weight, but almost always I have that free meal that I look forward to. But again, I thought, you know what? I don't want to mess it up on this one either. I'm going to stay healthy. So I'll, when the menu opens, I'm really careful not to look at the pictures. Why? Because the pictures are like food porn to me. If I look at it for longer than three seconds, I'm a goner. I can, I can visualize what it looks like, I can visualize what it tastes like, and my saliva glands start like producing all of this wetness because I can taste the food. So I try not to look at the pictures. I go straight in there and I'm kind of already diving in for what's gonna be the healthier choice. And there were a lot of cool and healthy choices so I just stuck to healthy. I chose um, tacos. It came with three fish tacos. Um, I asked if it was grilled. I wanted to make sure there wasn't breading on it. Um, that's kind of the way I roll on the way that I'm eating right now. And uh, so anyways, it was, uh, it was grilled mahi-mahi, like a white fish. And it came with this cabbage stuff and, and it, it came in these um, 
I think hard shells, like three hard shells, and then it came with rice and beans. So I'm still at the menu, I'm getting ready to order, and so I've asked her, I would like the fish taco combo, and then will you leave off the rice and the beans, please? And will you substitute it with either a really nice salad or half the plate of steamed vegetables? Your choice, whatever you decide is good with me. Um, she filled it with, so she left off the rice and beans, brought the salad, brought the dressing, and I asked for a bowl of limes and lemons because I love to have those kind of flavors. I also almost always ask for a little bit of balsamic vinegar, not necessarily balsamic dressing. I ask for like seasoned vinegar, rice vinegar, apple vinegar, or balsamic vinegar. I like to have that on the side and extra pico. So uh, when my meal was completely done, which it was absolutely scrumptious, um, you will see that my plate has three taco shells left, the insides are eaten, the salad is gone, all the salad dressing is there, and then you see all these uh, squeezed limes and lemons because I, um, that's how I decided to flavor my salad. And you know what? I didn't feel deprived at all. I had fantastic conversation. We had great conversation, people watching and looking at all the different people and um, talking about the day. Like there, I did not feel deprived at all. In fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that because I chose to eat healthy at one of my favorite ethnic uh, food places and I accomplished that, I kind of felt empowered. Like I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good and I love that feeling. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'd love to say that I ate out of a garden, you guys. Um, especially being a health coach, I'm a clean eater. But you know what? I don't. I don't eat out of a garden. I don't have a green thumb. I, um, I travel way too much. And so when I travel, I'm usually at Airbnbs or uh, and sometimes I have kitchenettes and sometimes I don't, but I'm eating out a lot. And sometimes, honestly, my vacations are planned around eating establishments. It's just fun to try new things out. It's just something that we like but you always have a choice. And by choosing, by making sure that it's your choice, you're gonna feel really, really good about it. It's really almost impossible to feel deprived if it's your decision to, to stay healthy during that particular meal, whenever that is. And if you choose to go off, that's totally fine too, because if you go off and that was your choice, you're successful. You stayed on, you followed your plan. So anyways, that's a little bit about me this weekend, a little look into my life, and uh, can't wait till the next trip. My uh, challenge for you is to go out to eat this week and, uh, and maybe share with me how you switched up your menu a little bit to be assertive. Make sure that when you do, you do it with a smile, you're polite, and you tip well. All right, you guys, talk to you later. See ya.